Good afternoon, all. Um, I would first of all like to thank the sponsors for inviting us to come to uh, Istanbul, Turkey having served as my host country and a second home for many years. Uh, let me begin by saying that as an American lawyer, or more importantly, as a lawyer who does extensive work under international law, it really doesn't matter what I think about individual politics or individual beliefs, although obviously I have solidarity uh, with the Middle East, which is the cradle of civilization. Uh, I come from a part of the world that is 400 years old, that from its arrogance and its aggression and its violence and its abuse, believes that we can set the tone for the rest of the world. Uh, it's not true. But putting that aside, I'm here as an attorney with a group of international lawyers, with a group of international activists, with a group of human beings of all races and religions and creeds and politics to send a message to the military government, the military government, the military government of Egypt. You are illegal. You are criminal. This was not an evolution. This was not a revolution. This was not the voice of the people. This was a coup. The events recently in Egypt were illegal under international law. They were criminal under international law. The slaughter of thousands of men, women, and children who engaged in nothing more than assembly and speech, the illegal detention of tens of thousands of men, women, and children for nothing more than their beliefs, their politics, and their association are criminal. We came yesterday to continue what many of us have done for many years, and that is to fight. And we are sending a message in particular to President Sisi, because let us not confuse the issue here. He is the president, as we speak, a new pharaoh of Egypt. And we met, and we worked, and we planned, and we are sending a message loud and clear to the military president and the military owners of Egypt. What you did was illegal. We have come, we have planned, we have organized, we will resist, we will fight back, we will not forget our brothers and sisters in the prisons of Egypt in the graveyards of Egypt who were slaughtered in violation of international law. We will challenge you in the courts. We will search down the monies which you have stolen for yourselves as if it's a benefit because you're generals and planted all over the world. We will challenge your politics in Gaza where with your fellow war criminals in Israel you continue to strangle 1.7 million people on behalf of Israel, on behalf of the United States, and in violation of international law. You can do what you want, President Sisi. And I saw the first draft of the Constitution, the new Constitution, the fourth Constitution, the twelfth Constitution of the military today. It is a joke. Any Constitution which, number one, seeks in the first instance to protect the military is not a Constitution, it's a proclamation. So President Sisi and the military, we send a very loud and clear message as lawyers, as activists, and more important, as human beings. We will not go silently unto the night. You can lock, you can jail, and you could slaughter men, women, and children. You will pay. You will pay in the courts, you will pay in the streets, and most important, you will pay in the next life. And I'd like to thank the people of Turkey for inviting us, and we commit as internationalists, as lawyers, as activists, and as human beings that the struggle will go on. That we will not allow those people that paid the ultimate price. And I don't just include the thousands that were slaughtered and the tens of thousands that have been jailed, but the millions that are beginning to understand there is no such concept as civilians being one with the military. It is a lie. So General, President Sisi, you can put us on your list. We will fight you in the courts, we will fight you in the streets, we will fight you lawfully. 
and in full support of international law. Thank you very much. Shukran and masalana.